Hi, it's Craig from Scratch Golf Life. In tonight's video, I want to focus on something that was triggered when I was watching the Sky Sports Open Zone and Jason Day was on. And he was asked the question by Claude Harmon, what do you do when you want to try and really bomb a drive? So I was expecting him to say, well, you know, a really big shoulder turn, I wind it up and then I give it everything I've got. But actually his answer was, I swing it as short and as compact as possible and then hit it as hard as I can. And I thought, well, that's really interesting. He's wanting to hit it further, but he's actually talking about swinging it shorter. And then I sat down and watched the golf that evening and then watched every single golfer, it seemed, who only swung it to literally shoulder high with their hands. Now, I've got some examples I'm going to put up here. So the first two are quite obvious examples because they are really short. But Tony Finau and John Rahm swing it incredibly short, but they are two of the longest hitters on tour. Okay. And then one of my favourite golfers is Tommy Fleetwood. And again, you can see here that he is just swinging his hands to sort of shoulder height. And I've also seen him talk about this in many videos on the TV where he's talked on that that is something that he works on with his coach. So what I decided to do was, I, as I've got older, I've actually just turned 50, literally only two days ago. Uh, and, you know, as I've got older, I've got less flexible and my swing has just got shorter, not by me trying to do it, just by it's just happened because my flexibility is a lot less than it was when I was younger. But I have noticed as I've got older that my consistency of shot has got a lot better. And I think that's just because... I'm swinging it a lot shorter and I've got a bit more control. So what I want to do here is a test was, and I've actually just done it, and we're going to go and have a look at the numbers in a minute. I thought, well, what would the difference be if I just swung it to three quarter and then just hit it? Okay, so literally on my first 10 shots here, I've done a full, it's full of swing and as big a shoulder turn as I could do. Okay, try to get it right up here with a big turn. And then with my second 10, I literally almost felt like I was just prodding it forwards. Just shoulder height and then hit through it. Okay. So let's go over to the Skytrack uh, numbers. So on this screen you can see here, the white are the full swings and the red were the three-quarter swings. So you can see straight away that the consistency was far better on the shorter swings than it was on the full swings and I suppose we would accept we would expect that a little bit but the really interesting thing is if we go into here and I just get the average for each one okay just bear with me get my mouse working uh, up here here we go sorry here we go right got it so, the white in the top here are the full swings, and the red ones were the three-quarter swings. Okay, so I think the first thing that we've got to look at here is that the carry was exactly the same. So even with making that lot shorter, more compact, more controlled, and to be honest, felt like a lot easier swing to do, there was absolutely no difference in the carry exactly the same and if we look at total yards you know very little difference again I was probably getting a little bit more spin on the three-quarter shots which is never a bad thing with a nine iron uh, but I think the really key thing here is now knowing that actually I'm not suffering whatsoever on yardage by swinging it shorter I'm hitting it exactly the same. So that begs the question, why make all that extra effort for that longer swing when you're going to get the same distance out of that more controlled, shorter swing? But the big thing is, look at the dispersion. The dispersion on the full swings was 25 yards between the two extremes of the, of the or, or all the extremes of the shot. So short, so left, right, short and long was 25 yards. And on the shorter swing, it's 14.7 yards. That's a huge difference. That is such a tighter 
dispersion and more consistency of shot. So, you know, it kind of shows that actually we don't need to make that really big swing and make all that big effort to try and get what we perceive that as being is yardage. Now, I've been doing this, I've done this as a test with a 9-iron today. If I was using a 5-iron and did those same swings, that dispersion is just going to get wider because those balls are going to be going further and going further to the left and right. And obviously, the better ones with the control swing are going to be staying more central. So the dispersion will be even better with a longer club. Uh, and I've also done some tests with my driver. And yes, I do lose a little bit of distance with my driver, but it is literally about five yards. But my consistency with my driver is so much better. So 100% yes. I'm going to don't mind losing five yards of difference. It's going to make no difference to my next shot. But I'm hitting the fairway and getting it in play far more often with that shorter swing. swing. Okay, so. great. That's it for tonight's video. Hopefully the golf course is going to be opening up soon. Be able to get out there and do some content on the golf courses. Can't wait for that to happen. So until then, and the next video, which will probably be from inside the simulator studio, uh, I wish you... Best wishes, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.